Genre Historical Fiction Jane's Discovery Jane slammed the door of the log cabin and raced toward the Indiana woods. Mother and father insisted that Jane go to school and learn to read. It was September of 1825, and Jane wanted to help on the farm like her brothers. Therefore, she told her parents, no, and refused to learn to read. Jane scooped up her long skirts and splashed through a small stream. Running helped her collect her thoughts, so she ran for what seemed like hours. She dashed around a tree and wasn't paying attention. As a result, she tripped over a pair of long legs stretched out in the grass. The legs belonged to her neighbor, Abe Lincoln. Abe was leaning against a tree reading a book. He smiled, stood up, and extended his arm to help Jane up. Jane recognized Abe and knew what a hard worker he was. But she also heard he was not like the other 16-year-old boys in Perry County. Abe was different, because he spent all of his spare time reading books. Why are you running so fast? Abe asked. Are you hurt? Jane frowned. No, I'm all right, she said. I'm running because I'm upset. My parents want me to learn to read, and I told them no. Abe looked down at his book, and then at Jane. Reading can change your life, he said quietly. Meet me here tomorrow, and I'll prove to you how important reading is. Jane met Abe the next afternoon. He showed her a book about George Washington. One of his favorite teachers had donated it to him, and he had read it many times. Abe began to read aloud while Jane listened carefully. He read about Washington and what a great leader he was. He read about Washington's courage and bravery. Someday I want to be as courageous as George Washington, said Abe proudly. Someday I will be President of the United States, too. I believe you will make a great president, said Jane. Look at what a good leader you are now. You've completely changed my mind about reading. Abe smiled. Tell your parents you will learn to read, he said. Then meet me here every day after school. We will read together, and I will help you. At first, Jane was nervous and uncertain about learning to read, but she met Abe every day like clockwork. Fortunately, Jane's intense dislike for reading was only a temporary feeling. She was getting the hang of it. As a result, her nervousness began to disappear. One afternoon, Abe surprised her. To her amazement, he gave her his favorite book. Thank you, she said. Now that I can read, I don't ever want to stop. Years later, Jane opened her newspaper and read the good news. Her friend, Abe Lincoln, had been elected President of the United States. She smiled and thought about the day she tripped over his long legs. That was the day that changed her life. Perry County Tribune. Lincoln elected. Abe Lincoln elected 16th President. November 6, 1860. Illinois Senator Abraham Lincoln was elected 16th President of the United States of America. He defeated three other candidates in the November 1860 election.